Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a baby haul for you. I've gotten so many things recently from shopping online or shopping in stores. Just things that I knew I was going to need at some point and so they're here and I wanted to show them to you. Some of these things are gifts and I'm going to go ahead and start off first with a gift from Munchkin Lane, which is a little baby company that sent me a few adorable things. And I'm going to start with this. This is like a little baby shaker soft plush toy. Isn't that so sweet? I love that it has a rattle inside, but I thought it'd be, it's so cute for a newborn toy. They also sent this really adorable flamingo burp cloth. I, I love the two different prints, but I just think that it's so cute and soft and the little stars. It's so sweet. They also sent me these headbands with the little bows on them. So cute. And this adorable matching pacifier clip that is in the same flamingo print. And last but not least from them, this is my favorite thing that was sent. It's a security blanket and one side is minky and the other side is the flamingos. It's really tiny, so it's perfect for a little baby to have as like a little security blanket as they grow up. I will put a link below to their shop and you can actually get 20% off of anything you order from them with the code SKYLA20. Now I'm going to switch over to what I got the other day when I went to Babies R Us and Target. And the first thing is I shoved it back in the bag, so I'm gonna have to take it out to show you what it looks like. But this is a net that goes over a pack and play and or it's called play yard netting and basically it's pretty much it's to keep insects out but I bought it because I wanted to see if it would go over my bassinet to potentially keep the cat out and the bassinet's too small it doesn't stretch enough it really wouldn't do the trick but I do like that I'm going to keep it because we do have a pack and play and we do have a ranch so I feel like it'll come in handy for if we're ever outdoors and we don't want bugs getting on her. I'm not going to lie, I got a lot of baby clothes, but that's because I've just been thinking about it. I know I have a lot of baby clothes, but she's gonna be having so many blow ups and spit ups and accidents that I'm probably gonna be needing to change her clothes a lot. And I don't necessarily wanna be doing any clothes shopping once she's here, because I'm just gonna wanna spend those first few weeks at least just holding her. So I'm gonna show you what I got. A few people have told me to pick up some more mittens and I listened and these are the ones I got. I just got the Gerber ones like this, so white and pink. I like the ones with print, but if you get the ones with print and then you put them in a cute little outfit that doesn't match, it kind of defeats the whole cute outfit purpose, I guess. <laughs> that sounds insane, but I just wanted to get solid ones so they would go with whatever outfit I have her in. I got two of these little guys and they're size three months. They have a little onesie with pants and their carters. All of this stuff was on sale. Nothing that I bought was not on sale. They're originally $20 a piece, but they were on sale. I don't know for what, but $20 is a lot for a baby outfit. And this one is the same idea with a little fish, little onesie with pants. I thought they were so cute for summer and they're three months. This is Nick's favorite thing that I got. The brand is Little Me and it's three months, but look at this cute little polka dot fabric with the little poodle and the bows and it snaps all the way to here and it has the little footies. I wish I had more zip ones because I hear the zip ones are a lot easier but the snap ones will do. This is one of my favorites that I got. I don't know why, I just love this print for some reason. It's an owl print and it's another snap. It has the feet and it comes with a little cap. I think I'm gonna throw this. If there's any room left in my hospital bag, I'm gonna throw this in because this one is a newborn size. It must have been on sale for $11.99 because there's a sticker over what the price was. Well, maybe it wasn't on sale because this one is also Little Me and this one's $11.99, both at Babies R Us. I'm obsessed, obsessed with this onesie. This is a koala baby, zero to three months, but look how cute these little glitter balls are. Isn't that so sweet? It has feet. I love it. This one was only $7.99 at Babies R Us. And Carter's has new prints for their gowns. 
Speaking of that, I ordered something from Carter's not that long ago. Like I ordered some more little rompers and onesies from Carter's and they haven't come in yet. I bet you anything I'm gonna finish this haul and they're gonna be at the mailbox and I'm gonna be so upset. There's like two gowns that are in a pack just like this in two. One of them is like this, but it's got like a pinkish floral print and then the, the other one is coral. And I have those and I wanted some more gowns because gowns are like the easiest things for to have your baby in for changing because they're long like this you just pull this up to change their diaper and so I've been waiting for new prints to come out because all the ones I have well not all the ones I have but I have a lot of plain ones and I wanted some more I feel like you can't ever have enough plus they can grow in these forever so there's no size it's like a one-size-fits-all so I got these after enough rambling about them they were $24 I don't know if they were on sale or then I went to Target and I picked up just a couple things at Target I died when I saw this I just snorted oh my god that's embarrassing um this is a newborn size $7.99 and it's also Carter's but it was at Target look at this little guy he's a little giraffe guy She's gonna be so cute. And, and this is a newborn size. I'm very obsessed with this. This was also at Target. It is, why is this on backwards? So here's what the top looks like. It's got this little bow and these are like gold or silver flamingos. Silver flamingos on the top. Stay on. Silver flamingos onesie and this little white skirt that goes with it. Oh my gosh. I love this little ruffle butt skirt. And this was $9.99, zero to three months at Target. And then I just saw these, and for some reason the colors really stood out to me, but I think these are for boys because they have planets and like spaceships, but I don't really care because girls can wear spaceships and planets. But it's just this, I think it's a four pack, yeah. Four short sleeve bodysuits. And there's just a plain solid gray one. There's like a little star, white and gray star one. Um, a green stripey one, and then here's the planets one. And I just thought it was so adorable. People might think she's a boy when she's wearing it, but I really don't care. I'll put a bow on her. And how much was this? This doesn't have a price tag on it. Shows how responsible I am. Okay, so that was a sleep pack for $16.99. Okay, now moving on to some more practical stuff. I said in my video yesterday that I was going to show you my little medical basket of things that I have in here for Skyla. This is what it looks like, and basically it's just meant to have all of the necessities that she's going to need in case she gets sick or just needs something. I just put this little basket together. Little Remedies sent me a care pack, so a lot of these things in here are from Little Remedies. They were so kind to send me a few things that Skyla would need, and I'm very thankful for that. This is actually a Frida Baby Nose Frida. You stick it into their nose and you, there's like a filter in here, but you suck to pull the snot out of their nose. I cut out the little instruction sheet like this because it was on the box and I wanted to get rid of the box so I just cut this out and put it in here. But it tells you exactly how to do it. So here's this and it comes with like extra filters. So here's the filters that it comes with. Of course I have her nail clippers which I really like these, they have a light on them. And I'm going to be putting these in my hospital bag just in case. I'm sure they have clippers at the hospital, like positive, but people were saying, Put them in your bag, so I guess I'll do it just in case. That would be insane, right, if they didn't have nail clippers at the hospital? These are Frida Baby gas passers, and I've shown them in a previous video. This is her thermometer. I may have shown this in a previous video, but it's a Vicks thermometer, and um, it's a rectal thermometer. When they are a newborn infant baby, it's one of the most accurate ways to get their temperature. It's not nice, but hey, I'm all for what works the best. And now the rest of this stuff is from Little Remedies. A lot of this stuff comes with little syringe, not syringes, but I don't know what you call them. Little applicators, little do droppers and stuff. So a lot of this stuff comes with these, and so I just kept them in their little bag next to, just in the basket. Oh, there's also, with those clippers came this little tiny baby nail file. What I have from Little Remedies is gas relief drops. I showed these in a previous video. I have gripe water, which I think I also showed in a previous video. I have a fever and pain reliever, strawberry flavored for infants, which is like this. Advanced colic relief drops, which are a lifesaver I've heard from my friends with babies. And saline spray drops. So thank you so much to Little Remedies for the little care pack. Skyla is going to be well prepared. 
Now these are some things that I registered for but did not get so I just went on ToysRUs.com and just placed an order. This is the Munchkin Latch Keep Your Countertop Clean, Dry, and Organized. It is basically a drying type rack. It has a utensil bin, a straw holder, a quick dry rack, convenient storage, and a reversible drip tray. So I already have the Boone Lawn, so this will just be an extra drying rack. I really like this. This is a munchkin basket. There's actually two of them in here. And it's to put like bottles and little baby like nipples and caps and odds and ends. Like I said, I do have the Boone drying one and I only have one, but I got two Boone twigs. I got a gray one and a white one because these are to hold like once again for drying. It's the same, same idea as the latch one, but these just go on the Boone lawn. So they're not very expensive. So I just grabbed two of them. But this is the way, this is how it shows. Like you can see that picture right there. That's how it shows doing it because they just stick on the lawn really easily. And here's the truth, I'm gonna have more than one kid. So I'm gonna potentially have a lot of stuff to dry. So you might think this is overboard, but Skyla is just the first of many babies, hopefully if I'm blessed. And then I decided to get the Philips Avent Microwave Steam Sterilizer. It looks like this. I think I made a mistake. Whenever I was getting like, um, brushes to wash out my bottles. I got the Dr. Brown's one and I don't know if these work for all bottles because I don't even have Dr. Brown's bottle wash. I just saw like bottle cleaning brushes and they were like one of the top rated and I just put them in my cart. So I might have to be getting, I might have to get different brushes or like a different brush to clean out my bottles. Dang. This wasn't on my registry, but I thought that it was really cute. It's a Raz Grapes teether, and I'm pretty positive you can put it in the freezer. Yes, it can be frozen for extra soothing comfort. And it's a little grape thing. I just thought it was really cute for some reason. I don't know why. It was like three bucks, and I saw it, and I was like, put it in my cart. And then I have another teether coming that's really cute. It's clear. It's a ring, and it's clear, and it has like little animals in each one of the little circles, and there's um, like liquid in it and you can freeze it and it's nice. I have like so much stuff that I don't need but that is in there and that will be probably shown in next next week's video. For some reason it ships separately. Last but not least, unless I go to my mailbox and the Carter stuff is there, then I'll come back up and film those too. Chances are it won't be but I'm a little upset because I feel like I ordered it quite a while ago. So this was on my registry. It's Fisher Price Rainforest Jumperoo, and I thought it was adorable. She won't be able to use it at first. So I guess once she can hold her head up, I can start putting her in this, but I just, it got a lot of good ratings, like usual, like all the products that I end up <laughs> registering for or buying. And I saw it, I thought it was adorable, I thought that she would have fun in it, so I registered for it, and we got it in the mail as a gift, so this is actually technically a shower gift. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching my haul video. I don't know if you've noticed, I didn't bring it up in my last video, but um, this is my new little film space. I know that it's a lot prettier in Skyla's room, but that's Skyla's room, and I need to have my own space to do filming and just to have stuff strung about, and I don't wanna have a mess in Skyla's room or have my lights in Skyla's room all the time. I just want that to be her space, and now that she's gonna be here soon, I decided to move into my own little corner, so I know it's like super basic, but, um, let me know what you think. Let me know what improvements can be made. But um, this is where I'm gonna be filming probably from now on if I'm doing a video like this. Anyway, sorry today's video wasn't a vlog. I know a lot of you guys love my vlogs, but I'm thinking about vlogging the week before my due date, like every day. Thinking about, not positive yet. Let me know in the comments if you would be into that. Anyway, I will see you guys on Monday, as long as I'm not in labor before then which would be awesome, but I don't think I will be. So I will see you guys on Monday. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you later. Bye.